As we mentioned, my next guest has introduced a measure to censure Maxine Waters. Arizona Congressman Andy Biggs is a Republican and a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, sir, good to have you here uh, this evening. Um, so how far are you going to are you going to push this with Maxine Waters? Well, I think we need to have a floor vote uh, on this, uh, unfortunately. But uh, the reality is um, I don't have anything personally against Ms. Waters. Uh, I just think that uh, her uh, discourse was was actually a discredit to the House of Representatives, and that's mm -hmm. the measure of whether somebody should be censured. I think she should be responsible for what she said. And uh, maybe that would be the measure that said we've had some discipline and maybe now we can set aside some of the, the uh, overly hot rhetoric that goes back and forth between us. What do you say to those who say that this starts at the top? of the Republican Party and that the president um, is, uh, you know, likes to say whatever he thinks about individuals and that that's where this started. What do you say to that? Well, uh, I don't know where it all started, but I know that uh, he didn't call for uh, people who disagreed with him to be harassed 24 hours, seven days a week, wherever they go, uh, to have people protest outside their, ho uh, their houses so they can't get any sleep. Uh, having people say you're not welcome anywhere in this country anymore. I don't think he mm -hmm. said that, but uh, that's what uh, Representative you know, it, Waters was saying. It's hard to imagine. If you know, it's, I always feel like in order to look at these things, you have to put them in a in a completely opposite spectrum. You know, I imagine if we were in the middle of the Obama administration and there were calls by a Republican member of Congress to harass cabinet members in the Obama administration everywhere they went and try to make it so that they weren't they couldn't go anywhere safely. What do you think the reaction to that would have been? Well, it wouldn't have been a censure motion. It would have been an expulsion motion. That's what would have happened. And uh, they probably would have gotten it because it is outrageous. Uh, it's an outrageous statement. And um, it puts a lot of people uh, in danger. Look at the situation that we have where you have a Florida congressman's kids were threatened with kidnapping. A man was arrested and charged with that. You have the shooting of, of Steve Scalise last year. Uh, we're in a tinderbox, and I think that, that you can't be too careful. I mean, I'm all for passion. I'm all for commitment to your principles and, and, uh, and debate and discourse, and sometimes it won't be fully civil. But to actually openly ask, ask people to get out and harass people and, and make sure that they, they don't feel safe and comfortable simply because they disagree with you on policy, that's wrong. You know, it seems like grown-ups need to stand up and help solve this problem. And the the sort of nexus of the most recent round of this that has escalated to such a frightening degree, as you just pointed out, um, seems to be what's going on in the border. And I would imagine it's going to be quickly followed suit by the travel ban issue. Can members of Congress get together and come up with something that makes our borders safe and also allows, you know, perhaps the number that the president suggested, DACA um, children to be able to stay here. Why isn't there some way to solve this immigration problem once and for all so that there's a, a process that works at the border? Well, it's, it's obviously a complex issue because we've been fighting with it for, for the last 100 years. But but the, my, what I see as a big problem is that we tend to put things in these huge bills where uh, maybe we get Andy to vote for it if we put this in. Uh, but if we do that, you know, Joe over here is going to say, no, I, I can't come on for that. And maybe if we took these uh, at a slice at a time and said, you know, we all tend to agree that we need border security. We need more boots on the ground. We need, we need a uh, fence in places. We need border technology. Uh, we need to end the diversity lottery. Maybe if we did some of those things one, uh, at one-off bills, you might be able to see us get uh, some, in my opinion, some real movement to resolve this very vexing and, and troublesome issue. That, that, that's why you're all there. Uh, so we hope that uh, some headway can be made. Thank you very much, Congressman. Good to see you tonight. Thanks, Martha. Thank you. So still ahead.